So, Reggie, I wanted to play this segment from you from um, Spider Loke's podcast on YouTube uh, where he had Gene Deal on, and I wanted to just play this little um, snippet for it for, for you and get your response. You and Reggie Wright. I see you and him as like the opposite of the same thing. Both have history in law enforcement. Both were up close on the opposite side of this thing that they call the East Coast, West Coast. Y'all both got intimate um, knowledge of the situations. I know y'all don't see eye to eye about everything, but what do you feel as if I look at you, I'm like, damn, we as viewers have a East Coast Gene Deal and a West Coast Reggie Wright to kind of, if you pay attention to both stories, y'all kind of help us get an idea of some, of some of the stuff that was going on that we wouldn't know. Do you, do you feel like that's a good analysis? Well, that's your analysis. <laughs> Right on. You understand? And I would like your thing. feedback off of that. Yeah. My feedback is that like like I have nothing against Reds. But when I when I don't fuck with somebody I don't fuck with, I never lied on Reds. Mm -hmm. I never talked shit about Reds until Reds start that bullshit with me. You understand what I'm saying? I never lied on Reds, bro. When you start lying on a man, then you start trying to degrade his character and then get with those people that talk shit, knowing you know as a man that they wrong. If somebody said something about Reggie Wright to me and I know what they was wrong and they was talking shit, I would check them because you're not going to get that off on me. You understand I, what I'm saying? Yeah. And Reggie will let people talk shit about me and say shit and we're supposed to be at an avenue where we're getting to know each other. we at an avenue where we're supposed to be trying to get to be cool with each other. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, and sir. he let them niggas get that shit off on me. That ain't his responsibility. But if you want to be cool with me, if you want to be a dude that I respect, you're going to respect the game and what it's supposed to be about. Mm -hmm. I, 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 can, I can dig that. That's all it is, bro. That makes and sense. I, and I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't go backwards, bro. You know, you don't fuck with, if I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. You don't fuck with me. You know, it's cool. You don't fuck with me. I have no problem with that. I can I can I can definitely relate to that. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, I saw that actually. I saw that my boy actually my boy Spider Loke sent it to me. Spider is a good dude. He always give me hands up as I do when somebody says something, you know, about each other or I say something about him or he says something about me. Um so shout out Spider for uh, saying that. I didn't like how you raised your hand when that nigga said that bullshit. Seemed like you was trying to cheerlead your mom, but it's all good. I know sometimes we got to play into the YouTube. Oh, uh, okay. Gene Deal, I mean, Gene Deal, I mean, I don't know if y'all know this. I've been laying, put, I done took my foot off his neck a little bit uh, because I kind of understand that, hey, man, we just all out uh, there telling our truths. Or tell him what we believe in our stories and all of that. All I just didn't like is that he was inserting himself into Tupac stuff and, you know, in the Keefe D situation. He pretty much that's all the only reason I really got on him. And then when I went to sit down for a minute, he started saying I was washing nigga clothes and shit. Well, I bet you I could bring five niggas on here that should tell how Reggie Wright was living in that camp. Everybody was out. And they know. Shit, Reggie Wright used to get niggas to bring food to him. And anyway. So he was trying to make a little jokes about that. It's the only reason I got mad because I thought we was cool. And then once a nigga go to jail, go sit down, then he want to start making little jokes on his little live streams. And so that's when I just started tapping that gene. Other than that, I got disappointed in Gene when we had a deal on the table with Chris Roberts, Robinson, guy that was a director that uh, wanted to do a documentary on Gene and I, but he went on and they said, fuck you two, y'all want too much money? Because Gene went up there talking about he want $50,000 and all of that. And shout out to my boy Sam uh, Gabble uh, from, uh, I forgot the name of his channel, Machiavelli Media now. But Gab and Sam, I think it used to be called, who had made, you know, hooked us up with Anthony and all of them. And they wanted to do something with us. But, hey, that was his negotiation. He knew his value. I'm sure our value was at that. 
and he wanted it, but I was more of one of those dudes that give up a little something and get it in the back. That's just how I, I roll. And so I was disappointed when it, that deal went by the uh, wayside, but even after that, he came on and did a live stream with us and all of that. Then, you know, he kind of got mad during the live stream because I tapped at some of the people that were supporting him that I thought were clowns. And I'm sure he eventually found out were clowns. And then he go on and tell those people on his live stream that the only reason he came over there because he knew I was about to go sit down and he just wanted to throw us a softball like you're doing me a favor. Reggie Wright don't need no favors from no motherfucking body. Because we, me and John both do this as hobbies. This is not our first income. John Punk, I say Punk, John Crazy has got two jobs. You know, so John John definitely do this for as a hobby. And I just do this the past time because y'all know I'm retired, right? But, so we didn't need that. We just was trying to give people over here bomb first, you know, some content. All right. So that's when me and Gene started going down. Now, he has always expressed to me, and that's where he really pretty much took it, was that he was disappointed because of Greg Cadence and my relationship. And I always tell you, I rode with Garrett Greg Cadence because the way he came professionally and stepped to, to me when he thought I had something to do with the murder of Biggie Small and how he came at me or, or my connections. And mainly, once he found out the investigation, he was man enough to admit, hey, I don't believe you have anything to do with it. And the person that he found out that possibly did, he helped them out as well at my request. Always going to have respect for Greg Cadence regarding that. Gene was only upset because he felt that Greg uh, played some games with some pitchers. Or something like that. Come to find out, Greg wasn't even the cop that was involved with the pictures that he said he saw and that Greg and them never saw or something like that. And so he has always had a issue with my relationship with Greg Cadiz, which he pretty much alluded to in that particular conversation. But the thing that we all know, when do we all know about Gene, y'all? Everybody, when do we know about Gene? When did Gene first come to the scene where everybody starts saying, oh, okay. Because I'm going to be honest. I listen to all Gene's interviews pretty much. I kind of, he entertains the hell out of me and, and, and on his views and stuff. And, and some of it is, you know, knowledgeable, teaching me some game where I learn stuff from him. But where do we learn from Gene from, y'all? Okay. The Broomfield documentary, right? <laughs> where, which is funny, where he, he identified one, but yeah, I'll leave that part alone. We learned from him from the Broomfield where he misidentified people, right? But guess what the documentary person that we all know him from, believe everything that he said from, what he says about his documentary now. What do Nick Broomfield says about his documentary now? For those that y'all don't know, John will post it right now and show you motherfuckers. Y'all see that? What do it say? I got it wrong. My documentaries got it wrong regarding Tupac and Biggie. So, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But that's the only problems I have with Gene. Just like he said, other than that, hey, shout out Gene Dill. Keep doing what you and Art over there doing together. Because as I always said, even though I don't fuck with either one of y'all, right now, today, October the something, Halloween time or whatever, because I don't know when this going to post. I still call y'all what y'all doing right now, Kobe and Shaq. And those are my two favorite basketball players as a as a duel. So speaking of Gene Reggie, did you see where um 
Biggie's mom apparently called him and thanked him for what he was doing as far as speaking out on Diddy for all these years? Gene, uh, 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 Biggie mama called him? I swear y'all niggas need to stop reading, reading titles of videos. <laughs> Y'all really need to start reading what people put in the titles of video and listen to what actually happened. That is not what happened. Gene was on the phone with a dude from Texas who had a relationship with Miss Wallace that called her and he kept trying to interject into the conversation and got so frustrated and then he finally got in and then Miss Wallace, who Apparently from the conversation, not apparently, she did know who Gene was. But she didn't reach out and call him. That was a dude from Texas, I believe his name is Paperwork, his channel is Paperwork or something like that. And he was on the phone with Miss Wallace. He the one that had the relationship with Miss Wallace. And then Gene got on the phone and then he and then G, she acknowledged him. And go, oh, hi, Gene. And then Gene started talking. Because he knows this conversation is, is taped. Because obviously Ms. Wallace didn't know that they were taping her. But I'll leave that subject alone. But then she goes and says, oh, hi, Gene. Showing that she does know who Gene is. And then he goes into a spill. Oh, I would have stopped and did this and stopped doing all of this. And then she goes and say, oh, Gene, keep doing what you're doing. So the way people try to make it seem like, oh, Gene, I got to call Gene. Gene, thank you for doing what you did and what you've been doing and exposing Diddy and all of that. That ain't what happened. That ain't what happened, y'all. But hey, I'm not here to hate on Gene today. I'm not here to hate OJ, but I just wanted y'all to catch how niggas can put anything in the title. Told y'all, y'all gonna make me become a Jaguar writer or Gene Deal or one of those motherfuckers. Y'all gonna make me do it. I'm gonna do it. It's Christmas time. Me and John need some money. We got kids to take care of. Baby mamas and wives and shit with issues that need bills taken care of. Y'all gonna make us do it. Peace.